crafters and welcome back to part 1a of my uh, money holder video I um, just finished up the live stream and if you missed part actually this is 1b if you missed part 1a you need to go back and check it out I I laughed and as soon as I started cleaning off the table I went oh, I totally forgot to show you how to make the envelope now I swear I did not do this on purpose to get out of doing yard work but I am going to say it's a little bit of a win-win because I get to spend a little bit more time with you guys and I get out of a little bit of yard work. So <laughs> I promise I didn't do it on purpose. Okay. If you missed the first video, I shared how to make these projects. I'll link it in the video's description so you guys can check it out. And I will also put um, this second video on the resource page so you can do them both together. And um, I will also have part two. So this is 1B because, you know, there was part one and part two. So this is part 1B. Part two will be later on um, next week. So these are the money cards that I shared how to make super cute. We used um, the November 2021 Paper Pumpkin Kit for these two. And then uh, Bright Bobbles for these and I've got these all loaded and ready to give to somebody. Some lucky person's going to get these with money in them. And I hope I don't forget <laughs> put money in them. <laughs> and this one, and I especially love the dollar bill that's in this one. Okay, I promise this isn't part of the video, but it is because it's cool. Can you guys see this? It's covered in glitter and I didn't do it. It actually came to me covered in glitter. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, so let's let's uh, <laughs> let's start with how to make custom envelopes, <laughs> how to get out of doing yard work, and how to make custom sized envelopes. So these are slimline cards um, that I I created here for these money holders, and um, this this one and the snowman in particular are odd, odd sizes. So um, you're gonna definitely need a custom sized envelope for those odd sized um, odd sized cards. Well, Becky, welcome from Arizona, and you can get a catalog. Whoa, where did I go? I don't know. You can get a catalog by going to stampwithtammy.com and um, clicking on the catalog tab. There is a place there that you can um, fill out the form so you don't have to put your address anywhere publicly, and I will send one off to you. All right, so I don't know if I'm not back yet, so whatever. That cam one camera's not working, doesn't matter. You guys don't need to see me. You really care about this envelope, right? <laughs> the one that I promised and didn't make. Okay, so I've got a custom size card here and I've got some designer series paper from, this is Stampin' Up's Whimsy and Wonder um, designer series paper, which is really beautiful. I'll show you some more after we make this envelope. So what I'm going to do here is actually let's score first. I'm going to score the top and the bottom of the envelope. I'm going to score the bottom at one inch and then the top at 10 inches. And then I'm going to turn it. I'm going to place this guy. So I've got 12 by 12 here. And if you had a smaller card, you could cut it down. Um, this one, because I don't want to bend these little pieces right here. I, I did a pretty big, um, pretty big piece there. It's uh, Flirty Flamingo was the color that was in this month's paper pumpkin kit. So I'm, I'm sorry, I was answering Penny's question while I'm, while I'm scoring here. What I did was I just went off to the edges of these two little things and made two score lines here on my Simply Score tool. And that way it will fit right around it and it shouldn't bend my Shouldn't bend my tree. Actually, I want I want that side out. I want the uh, I want the pretty snowflakes on the outside. It is my pleasure to come back and show you this one because I promised, and two because well, you know, I didn't want to. I really didn't want to rake leaves. <laughs> they'll they'll be there next week, right? <sighs> okay, so. This is gonna, we're all scored and ready to go, but I do wanna cut off the four tabs on the top and the bottom. And I did this, you can cut it right on the line if you want to, but I actually did it at a tiny bit of a diagonal. I just go right to the score line, don't go beyond the score line. And I did a little bit of a diagonal there too. So it kinda goes, leads up. Not a lot, just a little bit. 
And if you guys want to see this uh, whimsy and wonder paper, I will share it with you um, after I make the envelope. You guys can stick around. Anybody who wants to see it can stick around. Oh, I'm glad you guys like the cards. Thanks so much. Okay, so I'm going to do the same on the bottom here. Tiny little bit of an angle. Again, you can do it straight if you want to. Totally up to you. I like the look, though, when you have a little angle, and I'll show you that as soon as I put it together. And oops. You could also use the paper trimmer to cut these. They, they might be a little straighter than the scissors that I'm using right now, but for time purposes, I'm just going to use these. Okay. So then this just folds in. This folds up. See how the diagonal right there makes it? Uh, I thought that made, made it up look really nice. I want to trim that a little bit better there. Actually, no, I think I'm good just like that. And the card, before I assemble this, the card should slide. Because we custom made it to go around this card, it should slide right in without bending any pieces of our tree. And then that folds down the top. And then we have our custom envelope. And then the finishing touch, which I know this is going to get asked, is you want to put a little label on the front here. I cut this from scallop con and scallops and contour dies. Um, but you could use any, you could even just cut a rectangle out of a piece of cardstock. You could use layers, ovals, any dies. And then to assemble, super easy, just, oops, I, mean, I want to just do the outside flap here. Just take some seal adhesive, close that. Close that. So now it's all put together and our card's just gonna slide right inside. We'll close the top after we do that and then we'll attach this to the front. So that we can write our, our greeting on there. Now, as far as whether they charge extra postage for this or not, common question asked. Um, I believe they wouldn't if this is completely flat, but my card, has a lot of bulk. If it has a lot of bulk, I highly recommend taking it to get hand canceled at the post office. Um, it might it might cost a little bit extra to do it, but it will save your card from being munched in the machine. Nobody wants their cards to get munched in the machine. Okay, so this was I and this these custom envelopes were in conjunction with the money card, the money wallets here that I just shared how to make on the part one A video. <laughs> So I'm glad you guys found me. I'm so sorry. I forgot these. And that, I'm right. Don't you just love this? Don't you just love this little snowman? It's so cute. And as promised, because I don't want to break another promise with you guys, I will show for anybody who's interested the um, Whimsy and Wonder Designer Series paper really quickly, because it's really pretty. And um, this is part of my kit. So tomorrow I'll be uh, releasing this kit. You'll be able to order it till the end of the... Um, the end of November and it is a shadow box kit. So it's, it's really pretty. I hope you guys, I hope you guys love it. Sorry, my, my camera's not cooperating. So I guess you don't need to see my face, right? You just want to see pretty paper. This is specialty paper. So it's got um, some silver foil in it. Got ornaments. We've got packages and it's, I love the non-traditional colors in it. So this is what I use to make the envelope. And then really quickly, if you are interested, I also, um, this, the, sorry, this uh, money wallet here I made out of the, the Whimsy Designer Series paper as well with some rose gold added in. And here is the shadow box. That's the, the, the actual, the box itself is free with the kit. So tomorrow, this will be on stampwithtammy.com for order tomorrow. The, the kit will be on order. So just one more way that you can uh, make your holiday gift giving fun. I am so sorry about uh, forgetting this. I hope you guys all enjoyed it really quick and easy. And again, I will be back later on in the week with uh, part two of the money, making money, gift, making money gifts fun uh, video tutorials with gift card holders. Thanks for joining me.